in an unusual turn of events, JNU students uh, Umar Khalid and Anir Ban uh, today approached the Delhi High Court and moved a plea to surrender before the Delhi High Court. Um, Anisha was uh, in the in the court and she tracked the case. Anisha, what is their plea and uh, why did they move the Delhi High Court directly? Um, in their petition, Anirban Bhattacharya and um, Umar Khalid have basically said that uh, they've basically given the example of what happened in the Patiala House Court last week when Kanhaya Kumar, the JNU uh, Students Union President, was attacked by a frenzied mob of lawyers. Mm -hmm. so in their application, they said that despite court directions, despite police protection, uh, despite a heavy police presence, Kanhaya was attacked in the court and they fear for their life and limb. They are saying that they have more to fear than Kanhaya because they've been directly accused of mm. having made anti-national slogans. Mm. So they said that they want to uh, get police protection mm. from the JNU campus to the Delhi High Court so that they can surrender before the Delhi High Court. Mm. Plus they have also said uh, that they want uh, orders for their security while in police protection, mm. especially since there are reports that Kanhaya was attacked while in mm. police custody. Mm. So the hearing was happened today before Justice Pratibha Rani, mm. who has now deferred the hearing for tomorrow, mm. because uh, she said she'd asked the two to give a date, and a place and time for where they could surrender, but mm. there was no consensus reached before, between the police and the lawyers for Khal mm. Umar Khalid and Anirban mm. of the day, time and place of surrender. Mm. Now the hearing is set to happen tomorrow. Mm. Uh, also, uh, jailed uh, JNU leader Kanaya's bail plea was uh, listed today in the Delhi High Court. Uh, what had happened in that hearing? Uh, in fact, uh, Kanaya's uh, uh, the Kanaya's bail plea hearing was equally fraught with problems because instead of hearing the bail plea per se, mm. uh, the court got uh, the hearing in the courtroom was taken up by the dispute between the Delhi. The oh, Delhi Government Standing, standing Council Rahul Mehra and the additional solicitor general Tushar Mehta mm. who has been appointed by the Delhi LG to represent the police in this case. Mm. The court has for now uh, asked the police to file a status report mm. and a, their reply to the, the mm. bail petition and mm. will again hear this matter tomorrow. Mm. So, so what are we expecting tomorrow in both the matters with regarding surrender and the bail plea? In the Kanhaya bail plea there has been a slight U-turn by the Delhi police. Earlier they had said that they would not be opposing the bail plea, but today, after the hearing, the prosecutors for the Delhi police have given us right to the media saying that they would now be opposing the bail plea. In fact, Commissioner, Police Commissioner Vyas Basi has also said that there are apprehensions that uh, Kanhaya Kumar, once out on bail, might try to influence the public witnesses who were there. So, tomorrow we are expecting a detailed reply from the police on Kanhaya's bail plea. Also, regarding the surrender, we, we are expecting that there will be some more clarity on when, where and before whom are Umar Khaled and uh, Anirban Bhattacharya supposed to surrender. Thanks Anisha. Thanks for watching Indian Express.